Hello guys, my name is Kylie Bonia and welcome if you are new with us, welcome back if you guys have been here before. If you guys have been here before, you know that solo traveling and solo adventures are such a huge important part of my life and I just wanted to take a second to talk about everything that I've learned and how they've impacted my life. For those of you who don't know, I grew up in a very like non-travel household. I grew up with parents who were both kind of terrified of living and experiencing and I grew up with a lot of fear and I have realized in this part of my life that I am no longer okay with being afraid of everything and that's been a huge huge change for me. With solo traveling it can be really hard for people. I know a lot of people get really worked up and really stressed out and really scared especially as like a solo female. I love to travel. I love to go on adventures and it just makes such a big impact in me as a person because it allows me to have true genuine experiences that I can go on and talk about, that I can go on and live again through my mind. Um, take into account that I have never flown across country. I have never really gone super, super far. Although me and my sister are going to Vegas this year. So exciting. And I would really like to make a trip to California if I can this year. That is a huge goal of mine. Um, solo traveling for me is just a way, almost like solo dating. It's a way for me to take myself out and truly connect with myself. I kind of wanted to start with the benefits. So the benefits are this. Being able to solo travel with you and you alone is it allows you to really understand what you enjoy doing and it allows you that time and energy to truly connect with yourself outside of your normal environment. So sometimes we're allowing ourselves to do things that normal us wouldn't do on a day-to-day -day basis and we're allowing ourselves that le leeway to just kind of be our own person and that is so fun. Solo traveling also gives you so many benefits of meeting new people, getting to understand new cultures in like different environments and again I haven't flown cross country, I haven't traveled outside of the United States but even going different places like Boston or New York City their cultures are so different than where I am central in my small town in Massachusetts that it allows me to really take this and I've really mastered the art of taking what resonates and leaving what doesn't by seeing things I truly enjoy. I kind of almost start to like incorporate things like that into my life, things that are going to truly make me a better person because of the actions or the things or the cultures that I'm seeing and that's so fun. It allows you to do whatever you want to do. I am in a position in my life currently where I am single, I just turned 21, and do I have all the money in the world? No, but I do have a pretty well paying job where I can kind of just go on a whim if I want to. And that is such a benefit. Some of the things that I've learned over time that are really hard to get over is the stress is the your first problem is going and I mean this in the nicest way we are our biggest problems we are our meanest critic and you as a person you're great you are doing amazing things and you can achieve anything you want to do however you don't believe that sometimes and we need to reaffirm in our brains and in our minds that we can do anything. I do believe that safety is always going to be a number one priority and there are so many things that we do to keep ourselves safe as solo travelers, but you have to allow yourself to have fun. And I know as somebody who just goes and does it, that it feels very easy for me to just say that, but growing up in a household where I felt like fear all the time has almost created this non-fear in me of, you know what, 
I am absolutely terrified to drive six hours and go to this place that I've never gone to before because I want to go. But you know what? I don't care. I am not going to let that fear stop me from doing something that A, I really, really, really want to do and B, is truly important to me and then also it is going to help with my self-growth and self-development over time because here's the thing about fear and anxiety is the more we do it, the more we do things that terrifies us or almost sends us into a panic attack is those things are going to become easier over time. They help with our resistance in a way that nothing else kind of will is as people we kind of just have to do it we have to do the thing otherwise we never grow and i'm so sick and tired of being in one place and not growing so i am making that effort to, ch to change myself in a positive aspect of if i want to go do something i'm going to go do it and i think for me too it's really hard to talk about that fear and it's really hard to talk about that anxiety because as people we are basically told to suppress our emotions and to not feel anything and to not talk about it and I'm sick of that. That's not the life we live anymore. Let's talk about it. I as a person do not feel nearly as much fear and anxiety as I once did going places alone. However, sometimes I still get really nervous. I take myself out to dinner a lot and sometimes if I don't have a book with me, I feel like I'm going to go into a panic attack and that's okay. And you know what that is? It shows me that this book that I have with me at dinner is a coping mechanism. It makes me feel like I am in my own world. However, I'm still around. I'm still centered. I'm still with myself. And that's something I'm kind of starting to take away from myself. How do I get myself out of this book and into like the light around me? And now that I did turn 21, it's a little easier where I'm like, okay, like let me sit at the bar. I can get a drink. Then I can like relax, maybe chat up some people at the bar. And for me, that makes things a little easier. It's almost like that lubricant of like, I can socialize a little easier because now everyone has a common common denominator. Everyone has something in common and it's the fact that everyone is sitting at the bar drinking a drink. That is, once you find that one thing that you have co in common with the people around you, it can make it actually really easy to connect with people. And as a solo traveler, I absolutely adore connecting and starting conversations with people I have no idea who they are. And that's really fun for me. And it is, it's so much fun. And honestly, that's really hard for some people. I grew up very antisocial, so shy to the point where I could not have a, a three word conversation with people. And, you know, looking back on who I was before I am today is, you know, it's kind of sad, but it shows me just how much as a person I have grown and that is so absolutely empowering and it's so exciting. I think with these new adventures that we are creating, it is just creating a new life for us. I want to be one of those old people that just have so many stories to tell about all my adventures and all the places I've gone in my life. I don't want to be somebody that has nothing to say. And I think that's something to me is like, what is more important? Is it more important that I feel comfortable? Or is it more important that I push my boundaries and do things that I'm uncomfortable with for a reward that's greater? And for me, the, the reward that is greater wins every time. No matter how nervous I am, no matter how anxiety induced I am, I will always choose getting out of my comfort zone because it's really good for us as people. It allows us growth. It allows us almost like we're like, oh my God, wow, I can do this. And I think that's what I mean when I say we are our own harshest critics. You will always put yourself down. 
And I think it's a subconscious thing most of the time where we're like, oh, I can't actually do this, but you can. I have been on so many incredible adventures just in the last year and I am so beyond excited to see what this year brings us. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am a huge amusement park person. I also really like going to like museums and like conservatories, like there's a really nice butterfly one near me and just like doing things that just bring me true joy and even things that bring me a lot of tranquility. And I think things like that are super important because I don't want to be the person that's scared anymore. And that's what traveling has done to me. Once you go once, it truly, truly... Here's my challenge to you. I want you to go on a solo adventure. Just, just one, bare minimum. I want you to drive at least an hour away and just do one thing that makes you happy. And you have to be a little nervous. That is what the deal breaker is. If you are not scared, it's not that you have to be nervous, you have to be scared, but it does show that you're pushing out of that comfort zone. Say that you really like books. I want you to go to a new library. If you guys really like museums, go to a new museum you've never been to. If you really like to shop, go to a new mall that you've never been to. Something where like you're surrounded by people is usually the hardest, but it's usually the funnest. And you know, if you're nervous, bring something that you know will bring your book. And what I mean by that is bring your comfort mechanism. So for me, it's a book. For some people, it's like their AirPods and I would only put one in. That's the rule, you can't use both. Um, but bring something that's going to make you feel good and feel, you know what? I'm a little stressed right now. I need a second. I'm going to sit and stare at my book and read my book for like two pages because it's going to center me. It's going to make me feel a little bit better and then I can get back into this. And it's okay. It is completely, totally okay to recognize and to admire that it's like, okay, I need five seconds. I need two pages of my book to be read and then once this anxiety is over me, then I can get back to what I'm doing. Because we also are recognizing, okay, in this moment, I am completely filled with fear. Let me just take a moment so that I can feel better. Because at the end of the day, I'm not trying to send any of you guys into a panic attack. And I don't want you guys to feel like you're unsafe or you're in danger because the safety always comes first. And honestly, I don't really have any advice for things that I do to make myself feel safe. I, I just always felt safe. I'm a, I'm a big girl, you know? Like I, <laughs> I'm very positive and very copacetic in the fact that I can take care of myself. But maybe there's gonna come a situation where I can't and then I have to learn from that. And that's okay. That is okay because if anything, it's gonna teach me something. Listen, I just want all of us to be, I just want every single one of us to live a life that we truly enjoy. And I don't wanna ever make anyone feel forced into something they don't wanna do, but I do wanna allow us and allow you to push the limits of what you think you can do. Put yourself up to the test sometimes. Fear is just such an interesting thing because the second you give it any kind of energy, it's just gonna feed off that, and then it's almost gonna like depower you. And I think it's a very interesting world we live in currently, where it's like everyone is just living in fear, and it's honestly kinda sad, and it's kinda scary, and I don't wanna live like that. I have gone my whole entire life, up until the last three years, living in fear and I will never go back. I am done. I am so sick and tired of being scared and I will never do that to myself ever again. And you know, me saying things like that allow me to feel more empowered than I ever have. And it's the truth. I will never allow myself to be scared. You know what, you know what's something that terrifies me that I'll be very honest about right now? I'm a plus size woman, I've always been bigger. It's just something that I've always struggled with. And you know, 
in the summertime, I always wear a bikini by the lake. I wear a bikini when I go to the water park. And sometimes that gives me severe anxiety. Sometimes I'm like, oh my God, people are looking at me. People are looking at my body. I don't want to be here right now. I can't handle this right now. And you know what? It's okay. And it is completely okay that I feel that way. It's just telling me I need to work on something a little bit more. Maybe I need to work on how I view my body image. Maybe I need to work on finding clothes that make me feel better. But it's also like, am I going to let this fear stop me from going down the water slide that I want to? Or stop me from laying by the lake tanning? No, because we can't do that to ourselves. And I'm so sick and tired of letting fear and judgment and the thoughts of other people ruin my life. Because let's be honest, nobody cares about us. And I mean that in the way of when you are out somewhere, maybe someone will glance at you twice, but nobody's thinking about us after that. Once they're gone, they are not thinking about you. And I mean that in the way of empowerment because that means that we can care about us and we can think about us and we can be our own saviors. And we can do whatever we want, as long as you're not hurting yourself, hurting other people, and being safe. You should do whatever makes you happy. And that is a statement I truly believe. And I think once we find happiness, things come with that. And I think once we find like joy and passion, it's like things like money, and things like friends, and things like challenges really come and find us. The universe is like, you guys are doing well, let's give you more. Let's see what else you can handle. And that is why life is never really comfortable. And that is why solo traveling is so important to me. And solo traveling has completely and utterly changed my life. Up until three years ago, I was the kind of person who wouldn't really leave my house, who would work 50 hours a week, and my excuse would be that I had to work and that I just, I couldn't go and I couldn't do things. And I'm so tired of it. And I'm so tired of it. And solo traveling has truly changed that for me. Sometimes I only drive three, maybe four, five hours away just to go somewhere. And it's like even just sitting alone in the car on the drive just always makes me feel so good. Just so good. I love that feeling. I love the feeling that I'm in control, but I also have no control. That's oh, just one of my favorites. And it's, yeah, there are tons of bad things that could happen. There's so many bad things that could happen. But what's the point on thinking, what's the point on focusing about those? When I could be thinking about all the good things that could happen. Solo traveling has truly changed my life in a way that I don't know if I will ever be able to describe in person. And I've actually made a video very similar to this on how YouTube changed my life. It'll be right there. And um, they've both changed my life in such immaculate ways. And I've just grown into such a bigger, better person. And you know, for the past month or so, I've not been doing too hot. I've just really been taking it out on myself and you know even just sitting here talking about this because now the warm weather is coming now it's almost starting to be travel season it just makes me feel so much better even thinking about it like wow i can take myself out again because let's be honest i don't like the cold and I, it's funny because i'm born and raised in massachusetts and i hate the cold but um yeah i'm just i'm so excited and I think this is a new chapter in my life. And I think this is a new chapter in all of our lives. Are you guys are here on this journey with me? It's just so exciting. I think I'm gonna end this here. I just wanna stop and say thank you guys so much for all of the love and appreciation and kindness that I get from you guys. I hope you guys know that I do read every comment when you guys DM me on Instagram, I truly see that stuff. And it means the world to me that you guys care as much as I do. I love you all so much. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. 
And please make sure you subscribe if you're not already. It's only 50% of you guys subscribed. I love you all so much, and I will see you soon. Bye.